I'm Sarah Pollock and I'm a professional painter. I specialize in landscapes and cityscapes, so a contrast between urban and rural subjects. I've been painting for over 15 years. I uh, began in the medium of pastel and more recently in the past five years transitioned into oil painting, but the one consistent thread across those two different media is I've always specialized in those two subjects. I appreciate the variety and the counterpoint. Uh, you'll encounter stories and colors and cityscapes that you may not find out in nature, but at the same time, there's no greater opportunity like on a beautiful day to go outside and work in the field in an outdoor office, and so I enjoy both subjects. So getting out and getting acquainted with a place is really essential to my process and identity as an artist. I really like to celebrate the beauty that's around us every day. And as a newcomer, I like to think that I can bring a fresh vision to that. Sometimes when we call the place a home for a long time, maybe we lose touch with some of the things that are really beautiful about it. And when I come in and I'm brand new to a place, uh, it's just really important to gain an understanding of the history, some of the stories behind a place. I really enjoy that as part of my process. Because I enjoy cityscapes, I was very enamored of Knoxville itself. Uh, I like the industrial history as well as even the more recent history through the Civil War. I was very intrigued by that and just the people and the stories behind the city. And then of course, uh, we ventured up to the Smoky Mountains. I uh, had to go see that and start to learn some of the intricacies of the paths and some of the more hidden uh, aspects of the park. And so I've really enjoyed that contrast again between the urban and the natural. When I'm out in the field, I have to make kind of quick snap decisions in response to the light and I have a very small block of time in which to work. But I really love to come back and take those ideas and sort of mold them over a bit more and then blow them up into something bigger in my studio. Before I began working full-time as a painter, uh, I worked for Walt Disney Feature Animation. I was a color stylist for them in their Orlando, Florida studio, and there my responsibility was to set the color and final appearance of scenes before they went to film. The training I received there was excellent, and I now use that to this day in my own artwork. This is a result of a trip up to the Smoky Mountains, one of my first visits up to the park. So it was a beautiful summer day, starting to transition into fall just a little bit, so those first hints of color. This was painted on location, and as I like to say, in my outdoor office, uh, right along the Middle Prong River. Really, there's a great sensibility of light there that's so different from where I came from, and I'm really enjoying that aspect of living here. In contrast to some of the landscape work that I do, this is a piece, uh, this is along Magnolia Avenue here in Knoxville, and it's called Free Service, and it's all about the vivid colors and graphical elements on that particular summer day in downtown Knoxville. I was just very drawn to the light and the beautiful colors throughout. So I actually was taking a bicycle to be serviced, and I saw that, and again, it was all about the light and shadow, just that moment. Another piece that celebrates uh, downtown Knoxville is right here. This is called Kingston Twilight, and this is right along Kingston Pike near our home. And again, it kind of exemplifies that importance of proper timing. I just happened to catch a beautiful sunset that night, and when you have the right lights, like even something that you pass by every day can become elevated into a wonderful subject. One of them is a, it's an interesting little piece. It's called Blue. And it's a painting that I, I found the inspiration for it while I was downtown in Knoxville. And it's a surface parking lot, but I really liked the graphical and linear elements as well as the uh, old buildings like the orange in contrast to the beautiful blue sky that day and the billowing clouds. I think it kind of exemplifies like the beauty of what's here uh, with our Smoky Mountains and our environment and the clouds, as well as just the history of the city right underneath as a foreground element. There are definitely instances where people relate to paintings even if it isn't necessarily right in their geographical area. And to me, that speaks to maybe successfully capturing the mood and the color, like there can be a universality to a subject that is broadly appealing. And that's, that's great. I mean, if that gives people an entry into a work and allows them to access the subject, then all the better. There are definitely instances where, you know, I'll choose, for example, like a rainy day scene because the reflections on a rainy day, especially in the city, like in the asphalt, uh, I find those captivating. And a lot of times I'll have people say to me, oh, you know, I never thought of like a cold rainy day as something that could be so alluring. But again, that's part of my job as an artist is to try to show you the world in a new way. As far as a favorite spot, it's interesting. It's very consistent for me, that interest between urban and rural. And so right now, I would have to say it's a toss-up between working within the history of Knoxville and kind of its industrial history and looking at the buildings and the architecture and the streets, 
or totally completely different uh, going up to of course the Smoky Mountains and just you know retreating for a day and you know pulling off and doing work right along, along the streams. I like both of those about equally. They're very different and it really allows me to like get up each day and say okay you know depending upon the lighting or the weather circumstance I can tailor work and subjects to whatever's happening and allows me to be more responsive in the work and really make the best of a subject. I travel throughout the eastern United States to exhibit my work at outdoor art shows. These are usually weekend events where you set up and do a display and I love to think of myself as an ambassador for the area that I'm representing in my artwork and so it's really fun to have people who have lived in an area for a long time and they come up and see something in a painting that they never recognized before and I like to share with them any history or backstory behind a subject, uh, why I chose it and hopefully kind of showcase to them like why something's really special. Specifically, I would say a lot of times my landscapes in state parks, uh, people don't realize like what's within a day's drive or even just an hour's drive. Being able to celebrate that with them and show them like, hey, you know, this is right here pretty much in your backyard and it encourages people to get out and see things for themselves and I like to, I like to be able to do that.